See what I'm doing here. I have light coming in from behind the tree, so the shadows are being cast in front, and everything here is backlit. So I'm going to put bright highlights on the edge, and it's going to really define this space, this tree that's in the foreground, from that space that's in the background there. And all the greens here are hazier; they're more the sage green that uh, my aunt was asking about for. Um, that's one of the tones that she was looking for. And I'm actually mixing, for the highlight color here, I'm mixing that uh, green with the yellow ochre, which yellow ochre is one of the colors that uh, I'm trying to match. But I'm also mixing it with a little bit of brown here for a secondary highlight color that's a little bit more muted. So what I'm going to do on the edge here, we're going to have a lot of these bright greens, and then in front of this, hiding some of these branches here, uh, we're going to have um, some dark leaves. And uh, now these are fairly dark tones in the background here. I was going to go with a lighter tone, but I figured to make it less of a, um, a foggy day and more of a sunshiny day. A foggy day might be a symbolic, a little bit more dreary, a little bit more sad, so I wanted to have something a little more bright and cheerful. And here's the painting with uh, the lighting effects, the backlit tree, and the uh, pine trees in the background. Um, right now I'm adding some details in the rocks. So we still have a little bit of that uh, purple. Um, that's mostly going to be turned into say, shades of brown and such. And um, but I want to make sure that these tones are not too, too dark because I'm going to need to put this part here, or the, the tree, quite dark. So that's going to be our darkest darks. 
with some uh, gray, grayish leaves reflecting off of the sky. So, um, so yeah, we have a very strong highlight right here with the shade, the shadow of the tree, and um, I've got some browns and some tones showing some uh, dirt showing through. And it's really rough brush strokes, as you can tell. Really, really rough. But that's what gives us texture. So there we have it. Um, another day's work done. And uh, I figure probably one more day. And uh, I should be fairly much finished this painting. And uh, I'm having a great old time with it. Um, now I usually don't paint a lot of sceneries. I usually paint mostly uh, portraits and paint and um, animals and wildlife and that kind of thing. But uh, there's one thing I love to paint is a tree, and uh, the uh, added lighting effects here are make it a lot more interesting for me as well, and uh, just a, a challenge uh, artistically. And over here is my apple tree, which I like to. Uh, I like to come and sit. Now this is the tree that I uh, used for um, for a model. You see that? See how the leaves are backlit with the other trees way in the background. That's kind of what I'm going for. So thanks for joining me for another uh, painting adventure. And um, stay tuned for our next episode, <laughs> where <laughs> it's, like, it's like I have my own TV show here or something crazy. crazy. Anyways, yeah, so stay tuned uh, for the next uh, installment where we're going to complete the painting and uh, get uh, some, some the small little fi liner brushes in. Uh, that should be interesting. All right, so thank you for joining me and have a great day. Bye.